I think that there's um, another consequence that we have from focusing so much attention on I Have a Dream. And the attention is clear from all kinds of things, right? I mean, it's clear on the holiday <laughs> in January, uh, where usually we're not going to hear anything from King speaking in 1968 or 67 or si even 65. It's always 1963 in Washington. And there are reasons for that that have everything to do with the issue of economic equality as well as cultural and political um, equality. Um, and that's the king that people find more dangerous. The less palatable, less comfortable? Less pal yes, less comforting. Um, comforting. And of course, that also obscures the fact that King was not comforting to a great deal of the U.S. population at the time. He was not considered a hero. He was, in fact, being wiretapped by the FBI mm -hmm. um, at the order, by the way, of Bobby Kennedy. Mm -hmm. um, and so one of the things that we have to remember is that this wasn't just one of those events that happened in the natural sequence and progress of America becoming more inclusive. This happened with a lot of struggle. I mean, it's called a struggle for a reason. <laughs> and, and I think that we, we lose the king of 1964 to 68 when, when I have a dream, as great a, and wonderful a speech as it is, and I think it's brilliant. Um, but we lose the rest of um, his more, more radicalized uh, life, yeah.